हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू ऑटोमेशन ई लर्न दिस इज योर फ्रेंड सुरेश दुबे लेट्स डिस्कस वन मोर टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू आर सीरीज ऑन गिट हब फीचर्स एंड कॉन्सेप्ट वेर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट सेटिंग्स फॉर गिट हब रिपोजिटरीज सो गाइज सो फार आई हैव कवर्ड सिक्स अदर वीडियोज सिक्स अदर टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू गिट हब यू कैन सी हियर वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड वॉट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन गिट एंड गिट हब and how to create a github account and how to have a private repositories difference between private and public repositories and we understood how to upload your project first time on the github and the transition between transition of visibility from the public repository to private and private to public and uh, recently we covered how to create a new file directly on your project on github and how to have a new folder having a folder is bit tricky that is the reason it it was covered in a separate video so these were the topics which i have already discussed and this is the series which i am continuing here and in this video i am going to explain what are the different important settings that we should do for our github repositories so let's jump to github account so this is the repository automation e learn demo which is a public repository under suresh dube account and here we need to understand what are the different important settings that we should do related to our repository so under this repository the first setting that we can do here is to give a repository description here let's say what this repository is all about what is this project what it does so all these informations we can give in repository description so here we have a about option and uh, if you will click on this icon so here we have a description field where i can give my project description let's say this is the description which i want to give this project contains automation framework solution to ensure the quality of abc project so this is the description which i want to give to my repository my project automation e learn demo and just save so we get the same description over here under about section and this give us a idea what this project is all about what it is doing and if someone is searching for this particular repository then by referring the description they can figure out whether this is the right repository they are looking for or not so this is the one of the important setting that we all should do for our repository another setting that we can do here is to add the topics okay we have a repository i have given a description but what are the topics that this repository is having for example if you are talking about automation framework then we can add multiple topics right for example java selenium test ng jenkins maven etc so likewise we can add multiple topics over here so again we have to go to this gear option and here we have a topics section let's say i want to add java maven so likewise you can add all the tools and technology that you are using in your project something like this and click on save changes and here under about we will see the topics also after doing these configuration if you go to your repository tab over here then this is the repository right automation elan demo so here also we will see the same description and the topics that we have added and anyone else can also see these details if they have access to this repository so by this way you can tell more about your repositories let's go back to the repository select this one here the next thing that you must add to your repository is readme file so in this repository currently i have sample.txt just because my repository doesn't have readme github is suggesting me here help people interested in this repository understand your project by adding a readme by using this button i can directly add a readme file to my project which is very very important using this button we can add a readme file but i have already explained the steps 
to add a new file in the project directly on the github in this video you can refer to this video later on to learn this in detail so either you can add a new file from here also or for readme you can use this option directly so let's click on this button and here git has automatically considered the name of the file readme.md so extension of the readme file should be md and based on the project description that i have given it has taken the same as a file content and here i can write few other lines based on the project need the readme file is basically the documents which help us to understand what this project is all about how to use it different steps to configure and run the project etc one of the important thing that readme should contain is the owner or maintainer of the repository so that in case of any issue or question anyone can approach the owner for the resolution so let's say owner is suresh dube and i can preview over here so this is the name of the repository this is taken from the description which i have given earlier and suresh dube is the owner of this repository likewise we can add all the details all the steps like how to use how people how other people can utilize this repository how to run how to look for the report all these things configuration and everything we can mention over here and we can commit it to the particular repository so we need to give a commit message over here add readme file and commit to the branch so now my project my repository is having readme and if you are at the root of the project then content of the readme file will be shown over here moving to the next setting here at the top we have few more options which are useful for example i can pin my repository so here i have one option just click on this and your repository is pinned so what does it mean once you pin the repository and if you come to the home page then here you see all the repositories that you have pinned git reset and automation elearn demo which i just pinned so i can see over here directly i don't need to search this particular repository among many other repositories so i can pin it and i can find out easily and over here also if you have a multiple repositories pinned like here i have git reset and and automation elearn demo then also i can manage the order of these repositories just by drag and drop so i can drag git reset over here and automation elearn demo at the first place so i can even manage pinned repository over here so that is another important setting that you can do if you are working with multiple repositories and couple of repositories are very important which you want to visit frequently then you can pin those repositories and you can access directly from the here pin section go back to the repository now and another important setting that we can do is here i have one more option which is watch which is very useful if you want to see if you want to keep an eye on each and every changes happening under this project automation elearn demo then you can watch this repository so here we have different options like you want to notify for all the activities or you want to customize on what occasion you want to get notified currently it is checked at participating and at the rate mentioned so currently if someone will mention you in any of the discussion or issues or pull request then you will get notification but if you want to keep an eye on all the changes you want to get notify for all the changes or the activities happening over here then you can click on this option all activity and now you are watching this particular repository so anything will happen here you will get notified on your email id so that is the another important setting that you should do if you are the owner of any repository and you strictly want to monitor what's happening then you can watch this repository with all the activity option 
so guys those were the few important settings one is description second one is adding a topics third one is adding a readme file to the project which is very very important and you can pin your repository so that you can find your repository at the home page of your account and last one we saw is you can watch the repository for all the activities happening over here so these were few important settings apart from that if you see any other important settings that we should do then please do share in the comment section so that we all can learn and uh, that's all for this video let me know if you have any questions or any doubts and guys if you like the topics and the content that i am sharing on this channel please do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you for running this one thank you